So here I'm going to do a uh, light cut at 35 RPM. Um, the problem I found with this automatic drive that uh, Gingery has uh, set up is that I can't reverse it without reversing the spindle, which, um, you know, I guess is okay, but, um, I don't know, it just kind of, you know, if you're taking a rough cut, there's still material, and then it's like feeding it on the, the non-cutting edge. So the, uh, the automatic's engaged at 35 RPM, the uh, lead screw drives it quite slow, so, uh, I might not do a full pass because I'm running out of memory, but um, I'd like to maybe show a faster cut as well. Come on, get on there. So that's a uh, 35 RPM cut that it's making. Um, and that clicking sound, if I increase the encoder wheel, it'll it'll the resolution will get better. So if I can go above 96, it'll be really good. So I'm going to uh, do the cut over again. This is at 35 RPM. Um, I'm going to do it a little bit faster at uh, 300 RPM and then maybe I'll go up to like 800 um, maybe I'll take a little bit more off with this cut uh, there. the other thing I noticed with this the lathe is um, because I have no micrometers on the hand wheels it's, it's really hard to, to adjust the cutting depth so I'm gonna have to figure something out for that um, relatively annoying um, but right. so here we go put a little cutting fluid on there this is 300 rpm Oops. there you go Sorry about the camera dropping, but uh, I gotta tighten the stand out, stand that I made. But anyways, that little knocking sound was the uh, going over the set screw, which uh, I believe to be a different type of material. Anyways, I'll throw it in reverse, like I said, um, to back it out um, and show you what I mean by uh, by it kind of being. Um, a little sketchy. You know. So, I mean, obviously, I don't know if I'd want to run it in reverse to back it out or anything like that. Like, right. pause it. Uh, go forward. All right, so. I'm going to advance it a little bit and then I'll do maybe eight, 800 or something to, uh, you know, try and get a really nice finish. And then that'll be it for this, this quick demo. Um, Alright, so start it up. Put a little more fluid on there. There it goes. So there, there you go. It's pretty smooth. Um, so it can cut at 35, it can cut at uh, 300 and 830. Um, you know, nice, nice chip coming off of there. Um, pretty good depth of cut. I haven't really played with that. I think I'll probably be using a lathe mostly to um, cut aluminum, and I can definitely take a big hog of a cut out of that. So that's that.